In this video, I'm going to test four different AI background removers that you can use for free. I will show you how to use them and then compare their results against each other to figure out which one is the best. So I've got three t-shirt designs ready for this test. They're all quite challenging to remove the background from. This one might be the easiest because the gaps are not too big in between the different elements. But if we look at this book, the pages are quite thin right here. So getting rid of all of that white effectively might be tough and then we've got a kind of dripping skull right here on a black background to also test that different approach there and there's a lot going on here as well with um, a lot of smaller kind of gaps and cracks in the skull itself the first tool that i'm going to test is pixel cut and i'll have a link to all of the tools down below in case you want to try them out yourself. The thing here is just drag and drop your image onto the screen and then it very quickly removes the background as you can see. You can use this tool in bulk though, so it's one image at a time. And at first glance, it does look like a very good result. However, if we kind of click through the background colors on the right hand side, you'll quickly see that there is definitely still some white or, or beige left right there. So it's not done a perfect job. It does look okay on white, but besides that, um, not the greatest. There is, however, which is quite interesting about Pixel Cut, a refine option. So top right corner, if you hover over the image, you can click on refine and then you can zoom in right here and then you can change the brush size and actually erase different parts of color that you didn't want to have in the graphic. As you can see, we can kind of go through and refine this. Now, it is a little bit difficult to kind of navigate around this. I don't know how to like scroll over to the right, I think. Oh, there we go. It's very hard to see that bar at the bottom. So yeah, it's, it's a bit tough to do this, but it is good to know that even though this is a free tool, you can refine your result. And um, if you just have some minor touch-ups and then you click done, and then you're ready to download up here at around a thousand pixels for free. The second tool in this test is remove.bg and it works very similarly. You just drag and drop your image onto the page and then it scans the image, removes the background. This at first glance does a way better job. If you zoom in right here, it seems like pretty much all of the white is removed from the same places where pixel cut left it in. Let's try adding a background color here. Um, so we can add black and yeah, it, it does look quite a lot better than what pixel cut did but this is just one image right this is why i'm testing multiple images sometimes you know pixel cut might do better than remove.bg just depends and one thing to note here as well is that you can refine the background removal so there's no option right here to select or deselect anything and if you download the free version only allows up to 500 by 500 pixels which does make it more difficult to get those images then upscaled to a print ready quality for shirts. So that's definitely something you need to consider. If you want to remove the background from these designs for t-shirts, then this makes it tougher for sure due to this limitation. By the way, I'll put all of the images through all of these tools that I'm showing and then compare them side by side with you in a few minutes. For now, I just wanted to show you kind of how these work and what some of the little differences are. Next up, we've got Pixian. This is a tool I've mentioned a few times on the channel. And here, one significant difference is that you can actually drag and drop multiple images, even with the free version, and have those processed at the same time. Now, at first glance, again, if we look at the design on the left, focus on that, it does seem to have done a better job. Um, you can just click on it and it downloads it instantly. But here, you're also limited to 500 by 500 pixels, which is definitely downside. If we change the background color to black, perhaps you can also see how on the left, it's done a pretty good job. You still need to zoom in on this and um, like look up close at the, at the pixels if it actually did a good job, but at first glance, it's better than pixel cut and it did all of these in bulk. And lastly, here we have Clip Drop. This is one of the first background removers that I ever used and shared on the channel, and it's still pretty decent to be fair. So if we drag and drop the same image into here, it does tell you one out of 10, but as soon as you add more images to this, it wants you to pay. So the free version does not do bulk background removal, unfortunately. But if I click remove background now on this single image, it will remove the background very swiftly right here. And Clip Drop, does do a pretty good job, at least with this graphic right here. If we go back to show the changes there, you can see that pretty much all the white is gone. We do have a cleanup imperfections setting as well. So you can refine this further. You have a move button as well to kind of easily move around this, zoom in and out. And then with the select 
setting, you can erase little things, you can change the brush size and then hit clean to have things refined right there. I know if you're using an automated background remover, you don't want to be messing around with uh, different refinements, but it's good to know that the option is actually there. And another good thing about ClipDrop is when you click download, you will find that the files are a thousand by a thousand pixels. So it doesn't completely like ruin the quality and, and turn them down to 500 pixels, which is definitely a bonus. So let's take a look at these side by side. I've pulled them all up right here on separate ad boards. And the thing is, if you just look at these results on white, the background that they're meant to be on, they're all going to look the same and you can't really tell how good of a job it actually was. If they're optimized for a white background, it is better to check the result of the background remover on a separate color. So in this case, black actually makes a lot of sense. And if we zoom in, we can now quickly see that pixel cut right here did definitely leave a lot of white in the graphic and it also has this horrible foggy effect around the edge so I think pixel cut right here clearly didn't do a very good job the pixels are a thousand by a thousand still um, which is a little bonus there of course but if it's a poor background removal that doesn't really help us in my opinion then remove BG Pixian and clip drop still look pretty much the same if you zoomed out. The clip drop result has higher resolution, um, but besides that, you can't tell much of a difference from here. So what happens if we zoom in a bit to these graphics? I think with this, you can see that there is a bit of a white outline or uh, something like a ghosting effect going on around the trees, around the text, pretty much almost everywhere, which is a little annoying and it could show up in the print. Even after upscaling, you would have some traces of that remaining um, and you would either have to touch it up or it's going to show up in the print. Um, if we come over to Pixian, I think that has done a better job overall. Whereas yes, there is a, a few little white dots here and there, but overall, you don't really have that massive ghosting effect around every single piece of the graphic. So in total, comparing those two, I think Pixian definitely did better. If you look at Clip Drop and zoom in here, I think this is actually the cleanest result. I can't really see any little white gaps or white dots scattered around. There's no ghosting effect. And you can tell that the, the graphic is higher resolution. If you zoom in on this compared to if we go back to Pixian right here and zoom in, it does definitely get very, very blurry and pixelated. So I think for this round right here, the clear winner, in my opinion, is Clip Drop. So we'll add a little check mark right here, just so we remember Clip Drop won the first round. And now let's move on to the second round of graphics. Now, these designs were optimized for a black background. So in this case, it actually makes sense to check how good the removal was on a white background because then the black that remains stands out a lot more. If we looked at this on dark, so on a dark background right here, let's change it. Again, you wouldn't really be able to tell much. They all look pretty much the same and you don't know, you know, have they missed out some the background or not. But going back to white, I think you can tell that this was quite challenging. Almost all of these have quite a bit of black remaining. Pixel cut on the left to start with that one um, has this kind of foggy effect going on again and just looks pretty horrible. I, I don't really think this has done a very good job. And even if you use the refine feature in pixel cut, it would be a lot of effort to get rid of uh, any remaining black right here. Uh, then we've got remove.bg, which I actually think might have done the best job if we look at these side by side because most of the black is gone. There is some remaining right here in these cracks and some at the bottom but overall it's actually managed to remove the majority of black there is again a little bit of that ghosting effect going on around the edge a bit of a black outline but it doesn't look terrible pixian on the other hand did leave a lot of black right here remaining but to be fair it didn't really make it look too messy in a sense where pixel cut has all this fog and like weird half transparent edges at least pixian just you know left a block of black and it does seem okay it's not it's not a terrible job so i think between these two it's kind of personal preference do you want all of the black kind of gone or do you want some of it remaining and you're happy with it in this kind of sticker feel and then clip drop uh, who or which one our last round totally messed this one up 
we've got a lot of foggy edge right here um half transparent pixels and and it yeah it, it's no better than pixel cut really in my opinion so even though the dimensions are higher right here it definitely didn't do a good job of actually getting rid of the background which was the goal for this stage so this is actually quite a quite a tough decision for me i definitely think pixel cut and clip drop lost out but between these two if i had to use one of these graphics and one of them only which one would i use i think i would go with the right i think pixian did a little bit better and it might look a little bit cleaner yes it would be better to have some of this black removed but overall it looks a little bit tidier i think but yeah very very close still i think this round right here goes to Pixian. And lastly, we've got the book lover design. This one was quite challenging due to the kind of thin lines right here within the book and the pages. Um, but let's see how these compare. This was a black graphic and text on white background. So we actually need to kind of see this on a gray, perhaps just a, just a color that shows us both black and white. So let's try this kind of dark gray right here. And at first glance, they didn't do a terrible job to me. Like, I think Pixian stands out as one that looks the cleanest. Um, I can't see any white remaining at Pixian at first glance. There's quite a lot of white for pixel cut though. So let's see if we zoom in right here how it did. I think it's not necessarily a terrible thing if there is some white remaining. Like if this entire book still had the pages in white, wouldn't be a big issue. Or if this, this rose is still white, that's fine. The main parts of the actual background are gone. But as you can see, it's kind of done half and half. So some of these flowers right here have white in them. Others do not. And also the book, if we, if we zoom in a bit closer, some of the pages are white, others are not. So it's kind of partially removed the background there, which is not ideal in my opinion. But it's, it's not a terrible job, right? I was expecting worse, I think, from this. Uh, then we have remove.bg, which again, like in some of the other examples, it has this horrible like stroke effect ghosting effect going on where now some of these lines just look white instead of black so yeah it's, it's done okay around some of these flowers and plants and stuff but the book itself does not look good yeah not not too happy with that result and also the lower quality and make it hard to hard to upscale that properly pixian on the other hand i mean the task of removing background it's done fantastically well with that i do realize it is lower quality as well which isn't great it is a downside but yeah there's there's no white remaining here really really impressed with that especially on the book yeah it, it's all gone very clean job right there from pixian and clip drop the last one in the batch does look pretty nice uh, i'm not gonna lie very nice result there's a little bit of white remaining in some of these so the leaves do have some white strokes in them it's just not the end of the world wouldn't look terrible when it's printed it's just if it's printed on say a blue color I mean, if i just change this right here to to blue for example it would look kind of silly to have everything in black and then just a little bit of white right here in these leaves so that's why it's not it's not perfect it's maybe not as good as like pixian's result where it's literally one color and yeah as you can see pixel cut doesn't look too terrible either but it's this it's like half and half that really throws me off there so i think again this round does go to Pixian, in my opinion. They didn't do terrible. None of these did do terrible, but I think Pixian takes the win in this case. So to kind of summarize the results and also give my own opinion about this, we've got this chart right here, a pixel cut and remove.bg didn't win any of the rounds. Pixian won two out of three, and then clip drop won one out of three. I do think this also comes down to personal preference. So don't base your decision just on my testing right here and my opinion. Do your own tests because maybe you've got a very simple style and it's actually quite easy to remove the background from your images. And um, pixel cut and remove.bg also work quite well for you. Or, or maybe you like the fact that pixel cut has that refine option so you can make some adjustments if something goes wrong. Um, I do think Pixian definitely has some of the highest accuracy when it comes to removing background even from complex graphics and i love the fact that you can use it in bulk but that's my opinion because i like to do things in bulk and, and generate multiple graphics in batches in your case that might differ and there is definitely the downside that with the free version you only get 500 by 500 pixels clip drop on the other hand also did a decent job during this test but it does have a thousand pixel outputs which are easier to upscale or vectorize to get that print ready quality than with a small file like pixian or remove.bg would give you so it does depend on your own opinion on your own style as well 
but these are the results of this test and I hope they help you make a decision. If you want to learn how I personally remove backgrounds from my AI designs, check out this video next where I show my personal favorite method with one of the best tools out there for the job.